this is one of those things where to make that great comedy, you got to follow a little bit of the I'm not really a big fan of romantic comedies in general. Hey everyone, and welcome to Movie Feuds, the show that you decide some of the biggest debates in movie history. This week, Adam and I are changing it up a little bit when we go head to head against the big boy movie critics. That's right, we're teaming up. I'm Batman, he's Robin. I'm Fred, he's Barney. Scooby, he's Scrappy, do. I'm Matt Damon, he's Ben Affleck. Oh, okay, that was good. Well, this week we read the reviews and we're doing Iron Man 2. Iron Man 2. That's two. If there's one thing that all these positive reviews agree on, it's that Robert Downey Jr. is just the bee's knees, as the kids say. I don't understand. I mean, obviously, if the critics like Robert Downey Jr., that's like the entire movie. After two movies, I'm already tired of his character. He's like Johnny Depp in Pirates 4. I mean, the magic is gone. It's lost. We just need to recharge our batteries and, and figure it all out. Not everybody runs on batteries. Then you got the sidekick Don I phone this role in for a paycheck Cheadle. A guy I usually really like. I mean, I've been a fan of his. You've got Crash way back in the day. I've been a fan of his since Fresh Prince of Bel-Air when he was Ice Tray. Wow, what, what an obscure reference. Why do you know that? Don't test my knowledge of Fresh Prince. And why is Don Cheadle even here? When has it ever been successful to replace a main actor? You've got Don Cheadle who replaces Terrence Howard as Rhodey, but it's the exact same character. Yeah, but they don't play the character the same at all. So then you get the B cast with Johansson and Jackson uh, and the, the other S.H.I.E.L.D. agent just screwing up the continuity of the movie. You see this a lot with Marvel movies where they kind of pick pieces out of you know other comics to place in this movie. And it, you know it's all getting set up to you know have one big shebang here in a few years. And it's fine when it's in the, like the credits or after they're, you know, they're done, but don't make this 20 minutes of the experience. It just ruins it. The critics just ate up Mickey Rourke, too. I mean, this is a guy who, his costume is terrible, his dialogue was terrible, and as the main villain, he's defeated in like 30 seconds. He's Berenstein barely even in the episode. Zero personality. Where are you? Where did you go, Mickey? Nowhere. Yeah, so let's just go to the action. I mean, that's really what people are here to see at the end of the day, is a little tea start and a lot of action. And this movie has none. We got a speedway scene at the beginning where um, Mickey Rourke's like sl hacking and slashing with his whips. There's apparently no cops on the scene, otherwise they would know that they could just shoot this crazy maniac. Where did he even come from? I mean, nobody even saw him. Did he even enter? He just showed up there. He's a shirtless guy with like this electric suit on. Like this is just casual. He just walks through the the metal detector. And then you got John Favasaurus Rex and Pepper Potts. Just racing around in the car, it's this goofy scene, there's no drama, it's just slapstick. Why does John Favre have to be in all of his movies? Why does John Favre hate me? John Favasaurus. We got the Tony Stark versus Don Cheadle fight scene, and it's just a total mess. There's just destruction everywhere for no apparent reason. You know, in Iron Man 1, he blows or you know, he blows a hole in his mansion. In this movie it's just destruction. When the hell did Don Cheeto learn to use the suit and where did it come from? Get out. It took Tony Stark 45 minutes to try to figure out how to use this suit in Iron Man 1. And in the sequel, they just automatically use it. Like it's, you know, Tony Stark obviously knows it, but Don Cheadle just jumps in and starts going. I don't know what monkey see monkey do, are we ever gonna get it? I don't even think it's referenced. Like at any time that Cheadle's been wearing this suit and he's kicking ass with it. He just like goes in there, beep boop, beep beep, and now he's in the suit. And now he's fighting. And That's it. now I'm leaving the theater. That's right. Final fight, who cares? It's like it's like a minute long. They build up this army. They build up this somewhat tension, I guess, between the main villain who's gone for an hour of the movie and then it's over. There's a lot of destruction that, you know, again, no real reason for it. I mean, it's a lot of it's transformer style destruction, you know, just Bay's in the background, like, flipping switches. He's just clapping. He's the only guy that really loves this movie. I get like, this. E excellent. That's I get great. this movie. I know I, this. I would have written it the exact same way. Without a writer. No! Drop it, Tony! Take it! Yeah. 
So did we do a new segment just so we could bitch about movies like Iron Man 2? Yeah, we did. Do we do this every day and want to include you in it now too? Yeah, we do. Damn straight. So we want to know what you think now. Did you like Iron Man 2 or do you agree with us? Leave us a comment on the show page or you can find us on Facebook. Facebook.com slash movie feuds. More than just reviews, this is movie feuds. in here the whole time too <laughs> for like three straight episodes now that's not even that was the one that I, that yeah, I don't got a drink out of it for oh fun oh my god <laughs> no don't so, <laughs> you know what do it you're gonna okay you know what oh that's nasty yeah I really didn't have to drink out of no, it no you didn't have to draw the cat but you did <laughs>